four for him. Of the first moves. D4, bishop f4. As Again. I said, it will be the London system. E6, E3. Let's see what Kassen does now. It, will it be knight? Ah, oh, no, C5. So now C3 is kind of an automatic move. C3 is kind of an automatic move. B6, knight goes D5. to F3. Knight goes to f3, bishop e7, h3. So he minds his bishop. He wants, <laughs> yes. uh, yeah, bishop h2 if knight I goes to h5. I have feeling like the previous game he, he forgot to play first h3 and then the rest what he did. Yeah, I mean, in some, in some positions it's fine to allow this knight h5. And yeah, he actually <coughs> proved that the weaknesses, let's say, uh, black had to pay the price to take this bishop and he managed to exploit those weaknesses nicely. So what are, well, interestingly, Mm, uh, Akobiana is thinking at such an early stage. Yeah, bishop b7 looks like an automatic move to be played. Yeah, and not d5, but d6, which is much more flexible system here. Queen to e2. He wants to have his bishop on b7 more open. Yeah, a6, a4, rook to e8, bishop to h2, preventively, well, avoiding various jumps with the knight, like knight d5. And I think sooner or later in this structure, white is supposed to play c3, c4. Otherwise, it's very hard to get any, you know, like a proactive moves with the pawns. Bishop f8, then no, knight c4. That's as well an option. Knight to c4, pressing the d6 pawn. If black goes d6, d5, then he blocks his own bishop. And the knight white jumps knight, on e5. Perfect white knight goes knight. Yeah, to e5 or even d6. If, let's say, black plays d5 right now. White can also get knight d6, which will force black to exchange Queen the bishop. Queen c7. Queen c7, then knight goes to e3. Potentially, next move will be knight g4. No, knight d5, trying to force some exchanges. And bishop takes oh, a6, winning a pawn. pawn. Bishop f3. Now, it's must to take with the pawn. Has to play, yeah, has to take gf3. So black will get some positional compensation. Mm -hmm. Not enough, though. I believe it's not enough. The white bishop, the light square bishop, will be exceptionally strong. And he strong. got his double bishop. So he will put the bishop on b5, and, well, I'm not sure about... Uh, I mean, if, if we have to talk about the pair of bishops, the, the other bishop on h2 is not doing such a great job, but mm -hmm. the bishop on b5 will. Come somewhere. Bishop on b5 definitely will. Uh, yeah. Uh, for black to have the real compensation he has to activate his knights um, looking at moves like knight f6 you know to get to h5 g6 I mean to, yeah knight f6 knight played f6. knight f6 played rook b, uh, bishop b5 is really awkward for black to face because yeah you don't want to play a move like rook e7 and otherwise you have to leave the e file so rook d8 played no by c8. By Rosanna uh, c8 and c4 c4 yeah so the it's Upcoming plan is to play b4 and then look either a5 or c5. b4, yeah. I mean, sometimes this, this structure is better for white even not having an extra pawn. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it's like, for instance, uh, wh white pawn on b2 so. and black pawn on a5. The bishop on b5 is simply too strong. But okay, now a5 is a being next a, move yeah, for being white. Being a pawn up, it's like... g6. Must be winning objectively. So a5 pawn takes on a5 then this pawn will go to a6 queen a7 attacking the d4 pawn Rook uh, should perhaps the defend. only perhaps the only weakness which is left in no. white's position queen, queen e3 no queen e3 is a good move because somewhere he will play you know he will play d5 it's not about having an extra pawn right i mean white doesn't really need an extra pawn he needs his a pawn to be I mean, the, the strong pass pawn to, to mm -hmm. go further. He goes to a6. Yeah, he goes to a6. It's really far then, already. And then somewhere he can play d4, d5. Black is still struggling to find the proper plan. It might be that he has to... Nah, d5, c5 allows white to have another pass pawn. Black is already in a short time. 30 mm, seconds yeah, 30 on seconds. the clock against mm. 2 minutes and... Uh, Rook back to 30. d8. So he protects the... Protects the d6 pawn, wants to play bishop g7, I assume. Kind of increasing the pressure on d4. Yep, bishop g7. And then bishop c6. Now starts with d5, as I said, wants to trade the queens. d5, e d5. Now bishop c6 is certainly an option. 
uh, well, capture on a7 <coughs> could be an option. No, I guess bishop c6, yeah, attacking the the rook, which practically forces... No, black, black cannot take, take on e3. On e3. E no, I just well, no. realized that if black takes on e3, it's f e3. And rook a7, white takes on c4, it's just like completely winning. So the feeling is like in order to, you know, to somehow to, to complicate. To sacrifice maybe. Yeah, yeah he's just in order to it. complicate, he has to sacrifice an exchange. His position will be still lost, of course, but at least there is some sharpness. Like a7 probably. No. Rook a5. Rook a5, d5. A7 is an option. Yeah, but, but now black has got those two... A7, rook b1, rook b8. Black has got those <coughs> two connected passed pawns, which are moving pretty quickly. D4, A7, now queen takes D8 is a serious threat. Yeah, I think rook C8, then queen B8 is an option. Yeah. Queen B8 is certainly a possible move. Queen goes to B8, right, and... Akobiani Four also. seconds yeah. on the clock. No, no. No, he, he, he won't no. make it. He won't make it. He has no. already <laughs> lost on <laughs> time. Yeah, the game the game continues by the way because <laughs> they, are, they are not no. yeah. But anyway, it was it was